It happens all the time. You meet someone you like. You get together and after meeting up several times, this particular relationship stays exactly where it started. In fact, it doesn't progress at all. You've seen this before. In fact, it happens over and over again. And frankly, you're beyond frustrated. You know and understand completely that this person has classified you as something you dread. Yes, my dear, you and I both know how this person feels about you. You are in the friend zone. Ugh! The place that's worse than hell. It's more like purgatory except nothing is being cleansed or purified. It's your very own Groundhog Day. You feel doomed, alone, and lonely. When you walk away after spending time together, you grow more and more frustrated. And if you're like some of my clients, you get angry. Usually, you're angry at the other person. You blame them. You can't understand why they'd prefer to go out with people who are, well, less attractive than you, or people that you know will treat them badly. You can't figure out what's wrong with them. And then it comes to you. It's not them, it's you. You are the common denominator in all of these relationships. Yes, it's a tough pill to swallow. You think to yourself, well, if it's me, what am I doing wrong? And Elizabeth, how do I get out of the friend zone? Well, first, you don't put yourself in there. When you meet someone that you are interested in, let them know you're interested. Now, if you're interested in every single person you meet, most likely you're not being selective. Instead, you're feeling lonely and insecure and needy, and you're wanting to be with anyone who will have you. Now, this is a turnoff for almost everyone, so be choosy. Let them know that you're interested by being flirtatious. Now, flirtatious doesn't mean coming on strong, saying inappropriate things, or being creepy or sleazy. Being flirty means smiling. Be open and sincere. Give genuine, earnest compliments about something you notice that maybe most people don't see. If you're meeting someone for the first time, be bold. And after some conversation, ask them if they'd like to go out on a date with you. I understand you might be nervous. You might fear rejection. But isn't it better to know where you stand versus hanging out with them for weeks and for months before you figure it out? You don't want to know that there's no future. I want you to date intentionally by showing interest. Now, if you're struggling with dating, how about hopping on a free strategy call with me so I can help you get unstuck? You'll walk away with clear, actionable steps that will help you move forward and begin attracting and dating those that you're interested in. I'll post the link below to set it up. Summer is here. Wouldn't it be great to have a summer romance that has the potential to turn into something more? Yeah, I thought so. So get out there and start flirting. Get out of the friend zone and get a summer romance now. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Any comments are welcome because my intention for you is for you to be connected and be in a happy, loving relationship where you're both feeling incredibly happy.